show up in the AM. Down there, he might be wiggling, but he's in the. Oh, 
I ain't found out how to get him in there yet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Like, Amen. And y'all excuse me if I'm not acting uh, That's all right. normal. That's all right. But when the Lord really comes like this, yes. I'm trying to say something. Too many people say in church and never get encouraged. Amen. And a person that's not encouraged becomes discouraged. Yes, did y'all get that? Amen. If when you come to church, you're not being encouraged, you're going to get discouraged. There's only two places. Ain't no in the middle. Amen. And if you don't want yourself, you'll find yourself in a... Y'all heard last Sunday about her thing. She helped me preach in a minute. She had like she read my notes or something. <laughs> Now what's bad about this mission? I ain't took no notes out yet. I'm on top of it. Amen. Amen. Love the Lord. Love your people in the church. Amen. Don't let the devil make you fall out with people. That's right. That's right. Find a way. Find, I said find a way. I don't care what they said, what they have done. Find a way. Roll the Jesus. Amen. Because we need the fellowship yes, we do. of each other. Some of y'all been blessed this morning just hearing me say sometimes I'm up. Now I might be the least pastor in the whole Hamlet County. Don't bother me because he just laughs. Tell me first. Don't bother me no. I told y'all you got to get some word in you. Are y'all listening to me?
I'll give him the glory. Anybody know what you're talking about, the glory? Yeah. You get into a certain atmosphere. Yeah. And the presence of the Lord comes down. And you feel a quickening. Tastes good. 
Amen. 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 Tell her, go put one in the hall walls. Them yes. hair box in that door. Yes, sir. She seasoned that with that hair box. Yeah. Are y'all listening? <coughs> now, one thing, I got a good cook. Right. Amen. She take them old dry. I don't want them beans to come out the can. Mm -hmm. They ain't like them dry beans. That's why I do right. not. You got to pick through them before you yeah. cook them. That's right. Am I talking good? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Kim said they got rocks in They do. They do. Yeah. Oh, I know I see some dude that should be picking. Yeah, yeah they do. Wrong yeah. pick, as long as they taste the way they usually do. <laughs> Amen. Then I'm, I'm an Oprah person. Now, she won't put Oprah in the bean. Right. Because everybody don't like Oprah. That's right. Some of y'all talking about so slimy, honey, yeah. but it's so good slime. <laughs> <laughs> So she put them in them beans, and then, listen to me, beans are good the first day, yeah. but let them jokers set. Hey man, ain't that the truth. Good night. <laughs> Get you some fresh cornbread. Bring that ham hock with them beans. I'm talking about on the second day. Yeah. You're talking about some good eating, and it does something for you. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yeah. I got some stuff in there. I take vitamins. <laughs> a long time, I used to say, well, vitamins make you fat. So I said, I'm not going to eat no, I'm not going to no, no take no vitamins. Because mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm 250, 260 pounds all the time. And that's enough for my frame. But um, other things, couldn't, I wasn't getting my proper nourishment. Right, right. So I had to go and get them old man by you. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen the one a day yeah. for 65 and Plus. older? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they they ain't going to hear me going to get them one a day for the little 20-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough in them. All right. <clears throat> I thought one a day was one a day. One a day is not one a day. Right, that's right. <laughs> you don't get it for your age. Watch and see what happens. Right, never. Right. You'll be just taking a pill. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But I went on, forced myself to get those that says 65 and older. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, every now and then I have a little, a little quick in my step. All right. All right. All right. All right. Amen. 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 Them, 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 you know what I'm saying? When you when you can't provide the kind of nourishment you you need, mm -hmm. then you need to go get something to help you. That's right, amen. I'm talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come to this church, you're gonna be informed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, in Bible studies, week before last, we went, then we didn't have Bible studies last week. It was too cold. <laughs> I was almost fainting on that one. I sure did. See. <laughs> <laughs> was anybody else cold besides me? Cold. It was cold. cold. It was unseasonably yes. Yes. cold. Yes. Ain't nothing to me. Come out here. I'm making so bad I can't hardly get in the dump. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And then I know we in the sister club. We all know the rest of y'all. All right. That's right. Amen. It don't even have to snow. Just get too cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't even show up now. <laughs> well, amen. Y'all better be glad Mom isn't pastor. Because y'all be here all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> all the people say, we think deeper. All right. They don't care you to miss one Bible stuff. Right. Amen. Y'all should have been sitting back. Sipping on some tea or something. Right. Saying, thank the Lord. Because I've been in the time, it could be 12 inches of snow. Yeah. She's still in there talking about, That's we're going to press, we're going to let the devil beat us. Yeah. Yeah. The devil, <laughs> devil won't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Darling, I like you, know The wisdom part. Yes. Yeah. I don't like the physical side of getting over, but the mind, mind experiences more, you know more. 
Amen. And some of that crazy stuff we used to do, we don't have to do no more. That's right. Amen. 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 Like, Amen. I want to read this to you. Some folks don't think he preached unless you read a verse. Mm -hmm. Amen. So do, on the, I want to read. I don't even know if they go to Gulash. I'm so glad to see this. Amen. 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 You ain't letting them take your testimony. Nope. Okay. Amen. 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 Right. That makes my job a little easier then. <laughs> Amen. Now what did I call? I ain't call anything. I almost get one of them senior moments. Can you imagine ten years from now? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, you you about right. Be like mom, channel, somebody. Yeah. He ain't getting up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> he just won't sit in his seat. Uh, he said, Pastor, he just wait. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, I guarantee you, I'm not that kind of old person that the. Uh, 1 Peter 2. 1 Peter 2. First Peter 2, I, Peter, <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know the first, I, Peter, I'm not one of all the people mad with young people. <coughs> now, I can't hardly listen to gospel music, though. and I used to wonder what was wrong with our parents' generation, mm -hmm. when they're like, hey, that's not music! Really? Little shit. <laughs> well, I ain't saying it's worldly. <coughs> but it's a different sound. It is it's a different sound. We was we was coming down the road. We have satellite in the car. Yeah. You you know, you keep the same station. Coast to coast they claim. Mm -hmm. I ain't tried it yet. But uh Sound like the gospel, the gospel artist was competing with the worldly artist. Mm -hmm. You can't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Not really. Yeah. Really? Like, so, yeah. How am I supposed to dance, or shout, or get emotional on that song? Mm -hmm. Right. You know. So I just don't hardly really listen to it. Uh, oh, I should I'm mess up right now. All right. We cannot be honest with y'all. Yes, sir. You might get in my car, you're going to hear one of three things. You're going to hear either C and N, four things. C and N, C and N, you're going to see MS, NBC, or you're going to hear, uh, what is it called, Soul, Soul Town, or you're going to hear, um, what's that old, Roosevelt. Yeah, you're going to hear one of, four, one of four of those things. I don't hardly put gospels no more. Somebody said, you just backsliding, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to know how people think. Yeah. See, I know you don't know no better, so I don't even react to that. Right. It's just, if it's any music, I don't like to see nobody mess up. It's gospel music. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Now, I don't mind Stevie sounding like Stevie. Right. But it's something wrong with when you pull be saved and you try to sound like mm -hmm. right. it should be a difference. The Bible means they put a difference. Yes. Right. Make a difference mm -hmm. right. between what we have and what they mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not against I'm not against uh, music. Anybody know me? There's very few few things I can talk about against music. Right. Uh, when I first came here, I got and I started telling y'all that uh, secular music was not nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. and some of y'all almost want to call the bishop then. <laughs> Ask him, do we have somebody to take my place? <laughs> Amen. But it's only people singing about life. Mm -hmm. right. They don't put songs, I mean, uh, their, their feelings in the words. Mm -hmm. God ain't sitting up there saying, I'm going to kill you because you say you love your baby. Right. <laughs> he 
He he can kill you for that. What's wrong with you putting your feelings in words? If you read in the Bible, Psalms of Solomon, Psalms of Jesus. talking about Jesus. No. Right. talking about the Lord. Right. The Lord, Lord is my rock. Laying my head in in her in her breast is not talking about the Lord. That's right. Right. It was talking about laying your head on a woman's chest. Right. I ain't got no help. Well, all right. Read the songs of Solomon. Mm -hmm. And those who put this collection called the Bible together, they thought it was a good idea. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, when the Temptations were singing, uh, what's this song? When I Got Sunshine? Mm -hmm. On a sunny day? Mm -hmm. On a cloudy day? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And when it's cold outside? Yeah. I feel like it's the month of May mm -hmm. because you made me feel. Go ahead. Anybody ever felt like that before? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be tiptoeing around the saints That's right. because you love music that we call soul music, right. jazz, and all that stuff. Now, y'all know some stuff we don't say. Mm -mm. Right. 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 Come on, you know. Yeah. Come on. I'm working with this spirit right now. I right. feel it. Yeah, right. Some of this stuff we just don't. Mm -hmm. If you got to call me a B, I don't want to hear that. All right. Right. All right. All right. That's why I don't like food no rap, gangster rap, and all that stuff. <laughs> It's nasty. Mm -hmm. Hard to have a clean mind and like nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. right. My job is to bring the mail. Right. <laughs> right. You do what you want with the mail. But Lord, don't let people take from you what God has bless you with. Amen. I come that you may have life. And that you may have it how? I don't want you turn on the soul's station and you say, ooh, this is mm. This is yes. Mm. I don't want you and then feel condemned at the same time. Why are you condemned? That's right. It was rope and human consumption. Right. Right. It was somebody expressing the same thing you feel. Right. <laughs> they just put it in right. music. Right. Some folks say if he wasn't lost, he, he ain't got lost today. <laughs> no, some of y'all just don't know me. Right. I come, Jesus said, that you may have, right. and that you may have <laughs> what? Right. Listen, we can take five minutes. How you doing? Are you I've been in the store, mm -hmm. and I heard my girl come on there, and she was saying, stop in the name of love yeah. before you break my heart. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> now, do y'all know something? <laughs> I got a spiritual revelation from it. I heard the Lord saying, Stop in the name of love before you. And listen to what he said. Listen to what he told me. Thank you, Lord. And that makes the devil so mad. You mean to tell me he can take this worldly song? and motivate you spiritually. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, when I felt myself drift, mm -hmm. drifting, yeah. the Lord would speak to me through the Supreme. Right. Right. I ain't got no help. Right. Right. And tell me, stop! Right. All right. You drifting, boy! Yeah. All right. Don't you know I love you? Yeah. Yeah. You breaking my heart! All right. Now, some of y'all looking at me funny. But according to Romans 8 and 
27 and 26. He said, we don't know how to pray as we are. But the Holy Spirit prays for us in what? Words and groans. We don't understand. God's way is beyond our way. God will, when, when, when God is trying to deal with you, He'll get in anything. I was just, I was looking at a gangster movie a few weeks back. I told her, that thing bothered me so bad. I'm going to tell you what bothered me. Look how close most of us were or are. Just because you're born in a certain family, a certain environment, has nothing to do with you at first. It's who you're born to right, right. What, at what, what community. Right. And sometimes, look what them folk get. The male was talking about, the other day, the male was talking about, I got good children. Mm. Every last one of the children that shot somebody. My Lord. My Lord. Mm. Mm. Every God, for some reason, yeah. either saved us out of it, yeah. or never let us go in it. You all praise God. What y'all listening to me? Amen. And I'm sitting there looking at this show, and my hands went up. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you. Thank you. That you didn't let me be bold. Yeah, right. It's just stuff like this. Because yeah, right. you just don't know yeah, how right. close you may have been. Are y'all listening to me? Some of us got into it. But God, He got a purpose for our lives. Other folk dying, messed up for the rest of their life, but God pulled you and take you out. Right to say, He set my feet on high, took me out of them. Muck in the mud, yes. stuff that was pulling me down yeah. and destroying my life. Uh, yes. Are y'all listening to me? Some of us can go back home and see our friends we used to have. Some of us we can't go home. Now there's some places where it's all going to Saginaw. All right. I know better. You just can't be there when you're there every day. That's the whole truth. Get away from there mm. and tell me I'm going back. Mm -hmm. See my homies. Mm. <laughs> How many times we don't hear about folk came back to visit their homies? Mm -hmm. Never left. That's right. Stay right there. God is so good to us. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Amen. If you're sitting here today under the sound of my voice, <laughs> God, because of his purpose. Thank you, Jesus. Some of y'all talking about abortions. My mother could have aborted me. Yours could have aborted you. But God have a purpose. Yes. That's right. I don't worry about abortion. Amen. Amen. I don't have no, I don't have no, no second thought about abortion. Mm -hmm. You can't abort nobody mm -hmm. that God have a purpose. That's right. That's right. I said, you can't abort nobody right. that God has a purpose for. Right. God make that woman have that baby and go send him at the fire station. Mm -hmm. I said last week, just cause some of y'all hate to admit, I really, my parents really didn't plan to have me. Mm -hmm. What do we call that? Mistake. A mistake. Mm -hmm. And then some people go around lying to you saying, well, don't say you were a mistake. <laughs> when my plan and my parents weren't planning on having me. They just, they just was trying to have some pleasure. Right. And all of a sudden, I. Right. <laughs> he said, why do you preach like that? Why don't he preach like the rest of the preachers? Because you ain't getting no help that way. Right. Mm -hmm. That we got you. All the press and down talking about, I don't not know, you are a mistake! Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't sit out of play and say, um, I was in the car the other day, 
Hmm. I got three babies, y'all. <clears throat> I don't understand it, but all my babies wants to get married. <laughs> and when they got through talking to me yesterday, we went out to eat the babies in there. Because we've been in the house practically all week and they've been sick and all that, so we went out to eat. Mom was still sick, couldn't get out. We sat there, and by the time we got through counting, I got about 21, 22 grandkids. Now. <laughs> Just amongst these three, <coughs> they plan on having 20. <laughs> what was the largest number? Y'all want to tell who said, but what was the largest number? Eight? Then one of them on seven? Then one of them on five? Isn't that 20? That's 20. Just between these three, they won't have more than the other nine. <laughs> Lord have mercy on that show. Praise the Lord. Amen. My baby's going to get married. Amen. And they won't have kids. They won't do it the right way. They said they're going to get married and have them some kids. <laughs> And not now one of them is going to be a, because they don't purposely have it, yes. eight, seven, and five. Is that what y'all said? Is that what you meant? You're going to see vans apart their mouth. Yeah, right, that's right. <laughs> there going to be no cars. Uh, no. We're going to all have country, town and country. Yeah. <laughs> Suburbans. Because yeah. my baby's made five. crystal clear to me. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> we want to have babies. Mm. Mm. I said, bless the Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't understand it, but praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, I get in trouble sometimes telling y'all what they call my personal business. But I'll say anything to the glory of the Lord. Amen. Stop letting people tell you because your birth wasn't planned. It must be something wrong with you. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Right. Why y'all getting so quiet on me? It was the will of God. Yes. Nobody can abort you because God has a plan for your life. Amen. I believe the Lord knew before the foundation of the world, Brother Dude was going to be a preacher. Amen. And he's going to send me to East Tennessee because somebody needs to hear the truth. Are y'all listening to me? My mother had lost the son. And she asked the Lord, said, Lord, if you give me another son, I'll give him back to you. So as soon as I was born, my mother made a beeline to church. And she tried her best to keep me in church. church. Yes. Are y'all listening to me? If anybody in church, I am. Amen. Like Amen. upset with me. I tell the truth about myself. Right? And I tell the truth about you. Yes. Stop raising your children to believe it's something wrong because they were born. Who are you to know why a person was born? Jesus was born out of oh, Lord, they don't show up with me out here a minute. I didn't say it. The Bible said it. They were not married. Now, it's good he did it 2,000 years ago, because if he was doing now, the young man saying, Jones, it wouldn't happen. Because you know how y'all is.
<laughs> Marshall, you be on God text. This new preacher claims that he's the son of God. His mama and daddy weren't even married. Are y'all listening to me? That's why you have to watch what you say. That's and right. You have to. Because he said my way is what? <laughs> oh, God. No, he might be sending us the next person to uh, 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 discover how to cure cancer. Amen. All right. Got no business who you born to Amen. is what you do with your life That's it. after you are born. Stop holding your head down, talking about, they said I was a mistake. They, they are making a big mistake. Mm -hmm. You don't know why God, and then listen to this. Dr. Stanley is 80-something years old, about 85 on this, 86, somewhere like that now. He has become really famous. He's on almost every channel. Mm -hmm. He ain't come famous to every new guy in his late 70s. Early 80s, and all of a sudden, BAM! Right. You don't know why God allowed you to breathe and have life. That's right. And listen, listen to Deacon's testimony. Listen to Jason's testimony. Look where God brought him from. Amen. Amen. And God ain't through yet. No, he's not. With neither one of them. That's right. Oh. Ain't no need of me trying to act like my daddy was so special. Mm -hmm. He was just a hard working man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. What no perfect father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God had a plan for him. Yeah, like my life. Mm -hmm. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. sure. Got to learn how to praise God anyhow. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I preach good today or not. Mm -hmm. sure. I know I told the truth. I told the truth. Got to learn how to love. I, now, anybody know I preached last, last week? You who went to sleep. Because I can put you to sleep. Do what? Do what the others? Is that what I preached last Sunday? Amen. All right. All right. I just wanted to some of y'all still remember. Amen. Listen. Faith Temple, love each other. Don't let the devil. You families, you families, all you families. Y'all make y'all stand against the devil. That's right. This is the year of what? Blessings. Blessings. Anybody know how to say it? Blessings. Blessings. This is the year of what? Blessings. Blessings. And when things aren't going like you want them to, I want you to lift your voices. God is good. And it said, this is the year of blessings. Blessings. Blessing. Is anybody besides me in here expecting a blessing? Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Is anybody thank here you, thank you. besides me need a blessing? Yes. I need a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And I heard the Lord say, so tell him this is the year of blessings. We went through some things last year, but didn't he bring us through it? Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. 